Apparently, nuclear war is not off the table for U.S. in Ukraine crisis. That's the topic report, and I, I will call the video Ukraine nuclear war option not off the table. Now, the way that this is unfolded and worded, it's not necessarily that the U.S. is saying that, oh, no, no, we'll, we're, we would initiate nuclear war, but just that they, they have the option open because it's possible that the other side, well, let's get to it. How about we get to it? The topic report, the topic that we're covering is Ukraine, Russia, Germany, U.S. tracker. And the top link that I chose is this one. U.S. chiefs issue terrifying nuclear conflict warning, least bad option. This is from Express UK. USSTR, USS TRATCOM, TRATCOM outlines that this outcome could be decided upon when certain nations under... Now, now, just, certain nations consider nuclear force as their least bad option. They said, the spectrum of conflict today is neither linear nor predictable. We must account for the possibility of conflict leading to conditions which could very rapidly drive an adversary to consider nuclear use as their least bad option. This is, this is, if this, if, if, the, if Ukraine was not unfolding right now, this, is, this could easily be taken as just an intellectual policy position thinking out. But they're not doing that for this reason. They're doing that to send a message to Russia because there have been reports of Russia moving nuclear weapons into the, the, the region or closer to the region. And the Russians do have tactical nukes, so they're, they're talking about tactical nukes. So you could be talking about theoretically some sort of tactical nuke exchange. I seriously doubt you'll see nuclear exchange, uh, but I do think the United States is at least trying to bluff Russia, whether they mean it or not. And they may, I don't know. But they're at least trying to bluff Russia to, to not consider nuclear weapons. It's almost, well, if you're going to have a nuclear war, you want to be the one to strike first. So if you think that someone's going to launch a nuclear war on you, You'd want to strike them before they ever start. And that could be the connotation going on here. Certainly, I think, well worth paying attention to, even though I don't necessarily believe it'll happen. I think the, the chance of it happen has escalated a bit based upon these comments. Other headlines from this story as we try to track what's going on in this, 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 this threat to so many people and in, in nations. Uh, most, of, most of all, the people of Ukraine who, unfortunately, are divided amongst their, their factional lines, their Ukraine nationalism and Russia nationalism narratives that make them feel good about murdering their neighbors. Ukraine Zelensky invites Russia's Vladimir Putin to meet. This is from CNN. Zelensky extended the invitation on Tuesday night during a public address urging Putin to restore a ceasefire in the region where he said millions of lives are at stake. And how? Not, not even kidding there. A proposal was made to meet at the contact line in order to see and understand the situation as accurately as possible. And then this from Reuters. Ukraine leader signs law to call up reservists for military service. And I wanted to put these headlines right next to each other so you have that contrast. On one hand, Zelensky is inviting Putin to say, "Yo, man, we don't have to do this." On the other hand, it's like, "Hey, yeah, by the way, but but we're, we're getting ready." This is trying to strengthen his uh, hand at the negotiating table. Ukraine's president Vladimir Zelensky had signed into law uh, has signed a law allowing reservists to be called up for military service without announcing mobilization. His office said on Wednesday, approved by Parliament late in March. The measure makes it possible to significantly boost the armed forces amid escalation of tensions with Russia in eastern Ukraine. Russia fires cruise missiles in Black Sea and moves dozens of fighter jets to border as Putin, quote, strangles, unquote, Ukraine. This is from The Sun. In the excerpt written by Katie Davis, a new video shows Russian frigate Admir Admiral Essen launching multiple cruise missiles in the Black Sea is Vladimir Putin defies Western demands to ease tensions with Ukraine. It comes as new satellite images show Russia's expanding military line up near Ukraine with Su-30 fighters lined up on a runway. And let's just see here. You see, let's see the video. Homeowners, this incredible oh, no. tip is just for you. Oh no, we're not gonna. We're not gonna. I tell you what, we're gonna. We're gonna go away from you while we get the commercial here let's see is this is this over yet okay you skip oh wait, i can just skip that i'll do that how about we do that and then we'll put this back there they go there's the launch 
the Russians have shared this video so they've made it clear they want Ukraine to see this. So, so there you go. There's that. Siege of Russia by you. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I skipped this one. This one's an important one, too. Pro-Russia separatists use banned anti-personal landmines in eastern Ukraine. <coughs> Whoa, I coughed into the microphone. That's a sin. Let's see. This is from Defense Blog. Dylan Malyasov. Russian-backed separatists mined the residential sector at the village Zaitevso with intentional Zaitev Zaitsevo with an internationally banned anti-personal landmines, according to TV channel Ukraine report reporter Alexander Makov. The reporter shared footage that's showing Russian-made so wow, just Russian-made Palm II anti-personal mine mines equipped with fuses capable of being activated by the unintended act unintentional act of a person in other words somebody who's not a non-military combatant so spreading that narrative trying to undermine the moral authority of 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 the russians there's no moral authority here by the way one way or another there's there's no moral authority both ukraine and russia have significant vested interest in potentially not backing down siege of russia and and the the, the quote-unquote west has really no existential reasons to be in support of Ukraine. It's as purely uh, nation state uh, na nation state thuggery at play on all sides. Siege of Russia by U.S. and its allies offers a lesson for China. I thought this was a really, really interesting story because this is from Sputnik News and this is sending a little signal, a little narrative signal to the, to the Chinese. You got, you, man, you got to be Move in our direction a little bit more because the U.S. is a fundamental threat. Look, look, look what they're doing here. The U.S. has rallied. This is an excerpt from it. The U.S. has rallied it in. It has rallied its European allies to launch a new diplomatic expulsion campaign and a public opinion crackdown against Russia. In addition to the situation in eastern Ukraine, Russian op opposition leader uh, Alexei Navalny's hunger strike in prison uh, yeah, that's being used as, uh, again, they're trying to, everybody's trying to take away the moral authority, but nobody has it. Just so you know, nobody has it. None of these nation states have that moral authority, but, but that's the game they play. And, uh, the U S is rally. Okay. It's, uh, there are complex historical reasons for central and Eastern European countries tilting towards the U S and becoming anti-Russian, which are difficult for outsiders. To okay. There you go. And, uh, just, uh, a couple more headlines here. We have Siege of Russia. Okay, satellite images show Russia massively building up military in the Ukraine border from the Daily Beast. And Angela Merkel news from Express UK. Germany will press ahead with pipeline. We've decided that's the pipeline between them and Russia. Just worth noting. 